north for you. True north. Yeah, your guiding principles. Yeah. I think that, you know, I've always had the privilege of feeling capable, you know, always. I've always felt capable. And after you realize you're capable, hopefully the next question you ask yourself is, well, now what are you going to do with that? You know, what's, if you're capable, what are you, you going to do? Um, and so this process of always giving back, this pro you know, uh, I think it's Maya Angelou who's often given um, the credit for the quote, but apparently it was actually her grandmother who said it. Um, like when you get, give, when you learn, teach. And that quote has always stuck with me because there are so many people who get, but never give. Oh. And there are so many people who learn, but never teach. Um, and I think that that has been a, a very much a guiding principle for me in my life, that I'm someone who has been given a lot. So I have to, I have to give also. I'm someone who has been able to learn a lot. So I have to teach it. Um, and that truly fulfills me. Um, that makes me so happy to be able to do that, to, to show up, to affect change um, is, yeah, I, I get so much of my energy from that. So that has to be my true north, you know, is making sure you're constantly, when people pour into you, give it right back out. It's a flow, yeah. Yeah, I, I love that. You know what, I just have to say, you are just a beautiful being. Just um, make my day, you know, to know that Thank you're you. out there. Even, even how we started the conversation with it being a tough day, but you know, you're you're the person. You know, you have those shoulders where this, this can be looked at and, and faced, to have the courage to face families that are in crisis and then face the government and say, this is where we're falling short. The more we can have leaders like you, um, your voice amplified in any way that we can help. And, and, and that's Thank really you. what it's about. I mean, this recognition was, was really started just to be able to find the people out there like you so they can't, no one can say, well, we didn't know there was an LGBT person who did. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, here they are. Here they are. <laughs> I want to be a part of that. I've always wanted to be a part of that. So can you tell me a little bit about um, being recognized? I'm sure you're being recognized across the board, but in particular, is this recognition helped in any way or what do you think the value is? Because we're going to continue with this. This is our fourth year and I'd like to continue. And I just want to have some idea of how it impacted you or how it how yeah. you it impact in the future. A couple different reflections. Um, number one, it was cool for, of course, it was amazing to be recognized, but to read about all the other leaders um, and then to also learn about the stuff that they're doing and be inspired by them. And like, I've connected with a couple of them on Instagram and now we're kind of our own little network and community of people who are doing such awesome things. I think that that has been really valuable for me, um, just learning. And then also just having my colleagues on the list, uh, Aya Damons, Alicia Lee, you know, all here in, in Maryland, all here in Baltimore um, is really cool. Uh, so there's that. Um, and I think that like, I don't know, when I was younger, I didn't really think a lot about recognition um for many you know for many different reasons but it's important to give people their roses while they're here you know and to, to be like you know what we don't have to just remember you know remember you when something tragic has happened to you that we can say we appreciate you now and we see you now um and so just having that recognition is really powerful and and it's great and it's almost a way that you can because often in this work we can we can start to think like am i doing enough am i impactful Am I being seen? Um, and then there are these moments where you're like, yeah. And I think this whole process of, you know, this interview, the, the beautiful magazine I have right here, you know, <laughs> on, my, on my desk. <laughs> and you know, I gave the other copy to my mom. <laughs> um, you know, the way that you have, this isn't just an article, this is an investment um, yeah. in leadership. Um, I think that that has been, um, evident in the way that you know y'all have gone about this um and so to feel poured into and invested in more than just recognized but um invested in i think is really really wonderful well i appreciate this so 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 much this is been, so uh, just a great time yeah and i hope things get better that you're not having to deal with so many very difficult situations um 
But if a city had to depend on someone for these very difficult things, you are absolutely, I'm mean, without a doubt, that person. I mean, I to have somebody that. so genuinely um, dedicated and understanding and empathetic, you know, and because of all that your family and the people that love you have poured into you, that that's that's amazing. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.